Yellowstone spinoff actor Cole Brings Plenty of the series 1923 was tragically found deceased just days after being reported as missing from the night of Easter Sunday on March 31st. The family of Cole Brings Plenty had many questions going into this investigation as they explained early on that this was not normal behavior for Cole to be missing. And if in fact there was an investigation involving Cole of any kind, he would be more than willing to speak with law enforcement and not run from the situation. At the time that Cole Brings Plenty's body was located, there was not much information relating to the investigation from authorities. However, today we do have a new update from law enforcement surrounding Cole Brings Plenty's death. Before we get to the newest update from law enforcement, let's go through a quick recap of events. Initially Initially, Lawrence, Kansas police put out this statement that you see here to Facebook about the initial incident. They wrote, Lawrence police have submitted an affidavit to the district attorney for the arrest of Cole Brings Plenty after an incident Sunday morning at an apartment in Lawrence. We've identified him as the suspect, have probable cause for his arrest, and issued an alert to area agencies. Officers responded to reports of a female screaming for help, but the suspect fled before officers arrived. The investigation identified Brings Plenty, and traffic cameras showed him leaving the city immediately after the incident, traveling southbound on 59 Highway. This incident involves allegations of domestic violence, which limits the amount of information we can share to protect the victim. No further details will be provided. Brings Pliny's family has contacted officers, expressed concern, and reported him as a missing person. Cole Brings Pliny's father, Joseph, took to social media as well following this statement from Lawrence, Kansas Police Department as he was arriving in the area to help search for his son. This is where he talked about how it is out of character for Cole to be missing. He writes, arrived in Lawrence around midnight. Me, my Cole Brings Pliny older brother, Joe Brings Pliny Jr., and his girlfriend, Cheyenne LeBeau. We went to Highway 59 last place where my son's vehicle was seen heading. Wanted to see it at night. Maybe how my son saw it. We found a stream and sang a prayer song. We met with some of our relatives at the Haskell College. The college and students have a sacred fire built. They are going to keep it burning until my son is found. They've been doing searches and showed me a map of all the places they had searched already. One of the staff, Carrie, allowed us to stay in her home. Thank you, Haskell students and staff. Love you all. Makes me feel like I can do this. He continues and writes, the drive here has been the most difficult difficult drive I've ever done. I can't stop thinking about my son. I see all the posts. I've been in law enforcement for most of my life. When it came to searches, I never assumed my first priority was to find the person and make sure they are alive and well. Anything legal that's being said about my son, let his accusers stand before him in a court of law. That has a place and time for it. If my son was anything but a Lakota, the wording on the local PD's post would be different. The priority, he would be a missing person. Anyone that knows my son knows this is out of character, that he wouldn't just ghost his family and friends regardless. Something happened, and I'm here to find out what and where my son is. And another interesting thing to note here in this investigation, something that we learned just a few days into it, we learned that Cole Brings Pliny's hair uh, was cut just prior to uh, this incident taking place or, or him going missing. This was posted to Facebook by Anaya Holder. You can see the picture here of Cole and his hair looks to be tangled up and, and maybe a wire is what they allude to here in this statement. But this is what we learned. They said, our brother friend Cole was assaulted when his hair had gotten tangled in some wires while in a mosh pit at the replay lounge in Lawrence, Kansas. This person was trying to help him yank the wire out and another person came up unexpectedly and with no right did they have to take it upon themselves to cut his hair. This is hard for all of us as an indigenous community at Haskell Indian Nations University. Our hair has value. It's our strength. Please pray for our brother friend to come back home safely. We need to stand up and come together for our people no matter what. And while much of this information was being provided throughout the investigation, days later we got this tragic uh, press release from the Johnson County Sheriff's Office out in Kansas that they had located and found Cole Brings Pliny's body and he was deceased. It writes, on April 5th, 2024, at approximately 11.45 a.m., deputies were dispatched to the area of 200th and Homestead Lane in reference to an unoccupied vehicle. Deputies checked the area and discovered a deceased male in a wooded area away from the vehicle. The deceased male has been identified as Cole Brings Plenty, 27 years of age. Investigations, crime scene investigators, and the medical examiner were on scene at the time. 
And now this brings us to our latest update from investigators from Johnson County, uh, Kansas Police Department. They've put out a new update where they said the Johnson County Sheriff's Office is providing an update regarding the death investigation of Cole Brings Plenty. Detectives, crime scene investigators, and the medical examiner's office have been working diligently with the Lawrence Police Department and the Brings Plenty family. There is no indication of foul play in the death of Cole Brings Plenty. Now, along with this update, this press release from Johnson County, Lawrence Police Department, their chief, Chief Rich Lockhart, also made a statement in reference to this update. It was shared to Facebook as well with the update on the investigation. It says, please see the release from Johnson County, Kansas Sheriff's Office, which we just read to you guys. Lawrence, Kansas Police Chief Rich Lockhart has added this statement. This is a tragic case for everyone involved. Your police department worked very hard to investigate the incidents and worked very hard to find Cole. None of us could have imagined this outcome. I learned through this series of events that our police department must work harder to increase trust with our Native American community members. Through meeting with Cole's family members and members of our Native American community, I clearly see that we are not where we need to be in partnering with a community that is very important to Lawrence's history and to its current culture. This sad series of events has been shared around the world. It's my hope that future bridges will build and partnerships will be formed between our Native American community and our police department department will create a relationship that will not only increase trust and understanding, but will also be a model for other communities. There appears to be no more information at this time publicly surrounding law enforcement's decision uh, to put out the press release saying that there is no foul play uh, indicated within this investigation and surrounding Cole Brings Plenty's death. A very sad and tragic ending to this case. And as I have said before on numerous other cases that we've covered here on CountryCast, you know, a parent is not supposed to bury uh, their child. And we are sending out our love, thoughts, and prayers to Cole Brings Plenty's family during this extremely difficult time. As always, guys, thank you all for tuning in here at CountryCast. Be sure to subscribe down below if you have not already so you never miss out on any breaking updates and news.